All right, guys, this is Growfold coming to you out with another big box plant shopping video. So it is Christmas Eve. I'm out and about in the afternoon, and I am just curious to see what this Lowe's has to offer in terms of just plants. Um, I was just out and about, so let's go see what they may have at this North McKinney, Texas Lowe's. So you can see right here that since it's Christmas Eve, their Christmas cactus, their poinsettias are 50% off. So for the ones that just want to grow these as house plants, this is the perfect time to pick up um, Christmas cactus. And you can see there's a bunch of bromeliads here. I'm not really a big fan of bromeliads, but they are pretty. And so we're just gonna sneak over here and take a look at what selection they have. I haven't, I don't really frequent this Lowe's that much. And we can see that there is not that many plants as compared to the other lows. We can see that they have a variety of orchids. I love orchids, but once they lose their their blooms, it takes a minute for them to rebloom. So I just really don't grow orchids like that. We don't really have that humid environment. We have some more bromeliads here. We have um, a dracaena, more orchids. The plants are looking as healthy. There's a couple of ficus lorata right down here. Um, this Lowe's kind of proves that not all Lowe's plants are created equal. I mean, they have some nice crotons right here, but I'm not really panning out on everything, but I'm noticing that there is a lot of unhealthy plants. So um, it's kind of sad that, you know, we have all of these beautiful house plants and they get neglected. This one is a nice plant right here. I see this often at Lowe's. Some staghorn fern, here's a ficus altissima. That's beautiful, I love that green on green variegation. We have some more ZZ plants right over here, Raven. But look at these Aglonema, they're just really unkept. And when you think about plants and what effort it takes to grow them and then also just take care of them and bring them to a big box store, it's just really sad that they end up just um, declining in health. So here's a couple more Aglonema for the trending tropicals, Costa Farms, that's beautiful. I love the pink leaves. I honestly wish I had the cash flow to just rescue a lot of these plants. You can see that's another Calathea um, green goddess, a Fetonia plant right there. There's some more Calatheas. I'm just gonna pan around here and you can just see that these plants have been neglected. Um, I like this Calathea, that's beautiful. But you know, Christmas Eve, nothing better to do but than to look at plants. That's a nice Aglonema right here and sometimes you can find some really good deals but this Lowe's right here unfortunately doesn't really have a great selection in terms of just the plant health i mean you got to think about if you have a, a bunch of unhealthy plants next to each other what kind of pests would you end up bringing back to your house considering there could be like mealybugs thrifts spider mites who knows but you know, that's the reason why whenever you buy a big box plant that you need to go ahead and make sure to put the systematic uh, granules and spray your plant down. Look at this one right here though, this um, hanging basket for Pearls of Jade Pothos. This is a cool Pearls of Jade Pothos. Um, there's some more plants. This one's a really pretty one as well. Another Calathea right over here, or not a Calathea, sorry. Um, a Marantha, green Marantha, that's really pretty. What else do we got here? Money plant. Um, yeah, just keep looking around here to see if there's anything interesting. I found this Aglonema I wish I could rescue, but it's looking pretty sad. I wish they would go ahead and just mark down more than half of their inventory at this blows. So now I am at the Home Depot off of um 75 and this one also has a bunch of tree you know a, a bunch of christmas cactus that are now 50 percent off this one's pretty cool too i like christmas cactus i just know that they need a lot of light and i want to preserve all of the light for my um higher light needed plants in my collection so this one's right here a bunch of hoyas for about $15.98, I believe, or $14.98, something like that. And then we have a uh, Monstera Adansonii. This one is ready to be propagated since it's starting to vine. Um, that's $14.98 for this um, Hoya Crimson Princess, I think. 
I used to be a fan of Hoyas, but they tend to get a mealy bug, so I kind of stopped collecting them. This one is a nice Aglaonema Silver Bay. I ended up buying one of these actually about two weeks ago from this specific Home Depot, and I repotted it in a bigger pot from Ikea. Um, not a bad selection at all. They're nice and full. We have a bunch of um, ZZ plants right here, just a regular ZZ, not the Raven. And we have some Sansevieria snake plants. Um, let's take a look. Oh, and then we have some cool flowering plants right here. But I like um, the Proven Winners selection right here. Like, look at this philodendron. This is a beautiful one right here. Um, Sun Red, and it's for um, $19.98, I believe. And then we have some Tritoscanthia right here. I love the pink on that so cute and try to scan is super easy like you can literally take a little cutting off of this and it'll root love that pink i was almost tempted to do it but i don't really want to spend 19.98 on try to scan they're pretty easy to get these days um and then here is an interesting stromanthi this one um is a really cool one as well so it's part of the prayer plant um series they're very similar in care for Calatheas as well. And then this one is a really cool Ficus Benjamina. So this actually looks like a fake plant, just the texture of the leaves, but look at the variegation. So I would totally buy this plant and I'm actually tempted to do so, but you know, for $30, I don't have nearly as high light. I wanna reserve that for my other um, Syngoniums and Aglonema. But look at this one. This one is actually an interesting one. A philodendron um, mayoi. I have a small philodendron mayoi that a friend gave me as a cutting and it's starting to grow. But look at these mature leaves. I would say a couple years back, this was really expensive, but for $29.98, this is not a bad six inch potted plant. There's so many growth points already. You can see that there's new leaves and Part of me wants to rescue this because I know that it's starting to decline in health. That's the thing about big box stores. If you don't sell through it, they end up just being chucked in the trash. This one is an interesting alocasia. Um, I like the pink stems. Look at the texture of the leaves and the veination. I am starting to get into alocasia. I have some variegated versions and I do um, have a humidifier next to them so they get plenty of humidity they just are you know um spider mat spider mite um traps so this one is a ficus umbellata this is a really beautiful one as well i saw this a couple of weeks back at this specific home depot and i was about to buy it but like a, you know i said again this one requires a lot of um light and look at how big the leaves are and it is also a spider mite um trap it just ends up getting spider mites so I just don't want to put plants in my collection that require a lot of care so that's why i am more partial to aglonema specific philodendron and syngoniums are just easy to grow but look at this um aglonema i mean not aglo alocasia right here it's blooming so it's super happy look at the texture of the leaves are huge and then this philodendron lemon lime is always a stunner i used to have one I might end up getting one as well. I love those neon plants. And speaking of neon plants, look at these neon pothos. There's a ton of them right over here. I love that pop-up color. You know, Home Depot actually has some great plants. I'm curious to see what their plant selection is going to look like in the spring. And then this is another allocation. I'm not 100% sure what the plant ID is. So if you guys can, please leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know what that possible allocation is here. And then... There's some more Nature's Way plants. This one's $29.98 for this um, Calathea. That's beautiful as well. And then another one right here. This one is another type of philodendron. I'm not 100% sure what it is. And then we have some bigger Spathophyllums over here. More Neon Pothos, some Ivy. I stay away from that. They will always get spider mites, even if you put the systematic granules in it. 
$8.98 for all of those four inch um, ceramic pots. Those are super cute, Calathea, but I've already added about three of them. They're doing well. I have an Overfolia, um, a White Star Calathea, so we'll see how they go. They, they grow for me. Here's another Alocasia right over here. That's beautiful. I think it's Alocasia Poly. I'm not 100% sure, but that's a beautiful one as well in this pot love the veination of the leaves beautiful and then we have some more zz plants down here this one looks like an aglonema but it is not it is a defenbachia so i think of defenbachia and aglonema as being very similar plants but the difference is aglonema can tolerate low light defenbachia can't so i don't grow defenbachia this one is a really cool huge alocasia regal shield look at how huge the leaves are and i have that love the fact that it has like a purple metallic shine to it this one is 59.98 which is not bad the thing about it is this one would require a lot of humidity and care and some bright indirect light so just you know you got to be mindful about even though you see these huge plants you got to be mindful about your space and you know, two to three years back, I just inundated my whole collection with hundreds of plants and it ended up just being overwhelming and I ended up getting, you know, plant infestation. So now I am more careful about just adding certain plants to my collection. So you can see right here the proven winners um, that they have for the ZZ Raven. Those are really um, pretty. And then we also have some more custom, you know, plants trending tropicals there. Now we're looking at some of the hanging baskets. So we have some Skindapsis Exotica. Love the huge silvery leaves, 1998, although it's labeled as a philodendron. And then we have some more Hoyas. We have some golden pothos right here. Those are always a classic a philodendron Brazil right over here. And then, yeah, look at this. Look at the variegation on that. Very pretty, huge leaves right there. And then I am actually tempted to buy a neon pothos. Look at the green leaves. It's just, it just pops at you. It's a good, easy plant to grow. And then we're going to go back to the proven winners part right here. I, I almost want to pick this up, but we're going to go ahead and check out one more big box store, Lowe's. So this one is actually located um, in North Custer. This is the one I actually frequent and I actually did a video, a shopping video to see if they had any restock. So we're gonna double check to see what plants they have, but I do plan on um, potting up my aglonema that I got from Indonesia. So there's a certain orchid bark mix that I get to mix with my potting soil and it's this specific one right here, this orchid potting mix. Um, it's really good, makes your um, soil very chunky and I add some perlite as well for that. So we'll see. Um, I can't believe that there it is Christmas Eve and I'm out and about just looking at big box stores for more plants. That's when you know you have a plant addiction. So let's walk in and see. So obviously now that it is Christmas Eve, it, everything as far as poinsettias are about 50% off. So if you want your poinsettias, the best time to do it is on Christmas Eve to purchase these. The sad part is I feel like once these plants don't sell, they're just gonna get chunked. Look at all of these um, Christmas cactus available, more poinsettia. So we were here a couple of days ago and you can see that this Lowe's maintains its plants and even the health, look at this beautiful orchid right here. And when you talk about not all Lowe's are created equal in terms of plants, look at these um, aglonema right here. And you can look at these aglonema pink siams, the ones from the first, um, Lowe's just didn't have their plants presented as great or beautiful and this the health of the plants were declining substantially. This one right here, you can see that the, um, the green on the ZZ Raven is now starting to darken from a couple of days ago. I really like this um, Lowe's just because they do maintain very healthy plants and you can see that a lot of their plants are still healthy. Um, not a lot of people buying these um, restocks right here. It's like this one right here is still around and I want to buy it, but I don't really have the space or the time or the lighting for that. Um, more green marantha hanging baskets. And then we're going to take a look at some more of these like three and a half inch potted plants. We have some Fetonia. We have this interesting one right here. Dark Mystery. 
pilea. That's pretty cool. They're more like terrarium plants. And then we have some crotons right here. Yeah, this one is a banana croton. That's really cute. But with crotons, you basically need to have like direct sunlight for them. They require a lot of light. Otherwise, they start dropping their leaves. And then we have a purple waffle plant. These are cool. I love the texture. Very interesting indeed. Yep, purple waffle plant. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we have at this Lowe's location. So we still have some more of these begonias. So you can see that none of these plants have sold through. And I'm just worried that if they don't end up selling, they're going to end up in clearance. And then they end up just getting tossed. And it's just super sad. They don't have like a donation process or some way to, you know, get these plants to some good homes. You know, I'll do another video about just the decline and how much trash um, is created from actually house plants. But that'll be for another video. You can see that there are more Dracaena right over here. I love that plant right there. Um, and then they still have these amazing five gallon um, Eglonema. And then there's this um, Calathea green goddess. Beautiful. This one's starting to kind of get some height. It's interesting to see certain plants start to grow in those big box stores if they don't sell. And this is a really nice croton. My grandmother has one and it's absolutely huge. Um, she grows it out in like direct sunlight. That's why it's so healthy. And then these are the ones that I featured on the last um, plant shopping video with the Calatheas in uh, some water. So that's really cool that it's just a little hydro hydroponics display. You can see some air plants right over here. And oh my gosh, the allocation that i saw and also the shelby is now gone and then this one is a beautiful calathea i love the pink leaves on that and then there goes another aglonema on um, wait actually this is the allocation i was tempted to pick up the maharani i might still do it depending if i can find another lowe's that might have it on clearance but the shelby is gone and that was the one i would have actually bought today as a little christmas eve present for myself i know i'm getting too many plants for my own good but they just bring me so much joy this is a pretty cool Cebu blue pothos hanging basket i have a little one growing in my collection as well and you can see these pretty hanging baskets I don't really have a lot of hanging baskets in my plant collection, but yeah. So as you can see, Christmas Eve here in Texas, I was glad that I was off from work today. And I just decided after spending some time with family that I would take some time to take a look. So if you guys like this little shopping video, please like and subscribe to Growfolds. Thank you. All right, guys, if you thought I didn't get a plant um, while Christmas Eve shopping, you are mistaken. I ended up getting a philodendron pink princess for literally $9 at HEB, a local Texas grocery store that just opened up in, you know, Dallas. And you can see this is from Max and Miles Plants. Love their philodendron pink princess. Has a lot of variegation. It might be like the galaxy one or whatnot. But anyways, this was my Christmas Eve present for myself. Um, I hope you guys like this content and look at how beautiful this is. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Growfolds, for daily plant content. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.